Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn about adding more value to your podcast episode show notes using artificial intelligence, AI, through a plugin called Bertha.ai on WordPress. But before I dive into showing you this plugin, I do want to address the value of, well, what some podcasters call show notes, or episode details, or even a blog post. Use the timestamps or the chapters to skip ahead if you want to see the plugin in action. I like to distill this down to searchable content. In the game of how do I get more podcast downloads, your ability to spend time promoting or marketing your podcast is as, if not more, important as the time you spend producing your show. I'm going to assume you've heard the acronym SEO before, Search Engine Optimization. In the context of this video, optimizing the pages, or posts as WordPress refers to them as, for each podcast episode you publish. Before we go too deep, let's zoom out. There are many factors that go into a successful SEO strategy for every piece of content you publish, not just your podcast. Today, I'm simply focusing on the words that you write, or AI writes, for your podcast show notes. But there is a bonus. The act of creating good show notes, even with AI, puts you leaps and bounds ahead of most podcasters. Most podcasters don't do it because of three reasons. They don't have the time. Hint. That's why writing show notes with Bertha.ai might be a huge bonus for you. Two, they don't know where to start with writing the show notes. Three, there's no real goal. Even if you started getting more traffic, what would you do with it? I'm going to focus on one and two today. No time, no know-how. The bottom line is this. If you can spend the effort creating well-thought-out show notes, you increase your chances of your podcast being found in search engines, especially with Google and YouTube. I'll review how we do show notes for our audience podcast, and then show you how you might use Bertha.ai as a writing assistant to make better show notes or blog posts that help drive traffic to your podcast. What makes good show notes? We create three segments for our audience podcast, which is produced by our team at Castos Productions. And P.S. You can hire Castos Productions by visiting castos.com. Our three segments are, number one, the summary, number two, the takeaway, and number three, the links. Show notes should first and foremost focus on providing value for your audience before you start thinking about SEO robots. And believe me, the irony is not lost since I'm saying don't serve to the robots while showing you how to write show notes with robots. Which brings up a very important warning sign once you see Bertha.ai in action. You should look at it as your writing assistant, and you still must be the editor. You'll see why soon. The summary should lead the audience into your podcast episode. Don't give it all away, but craft the strong summary of the episode or premise that gives the would-be listener a reason to click. The takeaway sections are just that, key takeaways or quotes that give the reader a quick glimpse into the show. Quotes are also great to repurpose for a social media promotion. The last section is for the links, a list of all of the most important links or resources mentioned in the episode. This is so important for listeners who are on the go that need to find that book recommendation or website that you mentioned. Give your listeners a chance to see each episode as a resource they can go back to. So where does Bertha.ai fit in with all of this? Well, AI cannot listen to your episode, write the summary, uncover key takeaways, and list out all of the important links. Well, not yet, anyway. However, I do see Bertha.ai fitting into three key areas for your podcast. Number one, you interview someone that is an expert in subject matter you know nothing about. I've fallen into that trap many times. And you want to expand on the topic a bit more. You need help coming up with show notes or titles that rank in SEO. You want to take a keyword or a big topic from the episode and write a blog post to earn more organic traffic. Okay, let's jump into using Bertha.ai for WordPress and you can see it in action. So let's dive into our example. Uh, this is show notes from an episode that I recorded uh, with Paulina Salmas. She runs a podcast called An Eyesore and a Plague. And we talk all about the history of New York and what her show is all about. But she brings something up about electronic keyboards. And I know nothing about electronic keyboards. And this is where Something like using Bertha can help you add to your, you know, already created show notes, or I guess it, you could use Bertha entirely for the show notes. And remember, what I want you to keep in mind that you want to use and leverage Bertha as your writing assistant, not just your writer, and you still want to go back and edit some of these things. But maybe we want to talk about the history of electronic keyboards, knowing nothing about the history of electronic keyboards. So I'm going to create a section called the history of electronic 
keyboards. And in fact, she brings up a brand called Wurlitzer because this is her day job working with Wurlitzer electronic keyboards, which are uh, no longer in existence. So they're sort of like uh, almost like antiques and they help salvage and repair them. So let's say the history of Wurlitzer electronic keyboards, we're going to get really deep <laughs> with this, this one. And I'm going to copy that heading and I'm going to open up Bertha already installed on my WordPress website. There are a ton of features within Bertha, things that you can create and that you can uh, help identify with. I'm just going to focus on a few things for this particular video just to show it in action. So the first thing I might want to do is create an outline for this and just say, hey, Bertha, can you help me create this outline for this topic I know nothing about? And this title will be the one I just copy and pasted, the history of Wurlitzer electronic keyboards. We'll click on generate ideas. Bertha will go out and get some ideas for us. It's going to serve back, uh, Bertha's going to serve back a few different variations for you to use. You can mix and match from any of this stuff. You can use the ones that you like, the ones that you don't like. Uh, totally up to you. You can copy and paste this right into the document. I think I like this one the best. Uh, first appearing in 1960 and manufactured through the mid 70s. 72 is the last. These high quality instruments were often found high end musical instruments, retailers like Manny's Music, David Morgan's Music, etc. I like that. I'm going to copy that and paste that into uh, my article. Now, what I might want to do is put in a new paragraph, uh, either addressing some of these points or creating something totally new. So let's go back to Bertha. And we will select a uh, blog post intro. So let's go blog post intro paragraph. And uh, let's say fun is our sentiment. The ideal customer might be a musician. And again, the title of the article will be uh, the history of, uh, well, actually, we don't want to copy that. We want to copy this. So we'll copy that and put that in to generate the ideas. So it's going to go out and now create an intro paragraph to the history of Wurlitzer electronic keyboards. And I don't see anything that I really like there all too much. Let's go ahead and generate more ideas. And hopefully Bertha gives us something else that we like. And there we go. It's going to give us another sort of definition of the history of uh, the Wurlitzer keyboards. I'm going to copy this one, paste that one into my document. So what you'd want to do now is start the editing experience so or process. So you've got your overarching goal, which is to write about the history of electronic keyboards. Bertha has given us a few sort of starting points for a blog outline. It's created a few paragraphs for us, but maybe we want to go a little bit further. And then lastly, what I might do is go in and find something like a conclusion paragraph. So when we go in to create the conclusion paragraph, I'm going to use the same title. And this time we'll will be to find a electronic keyboard near you, which is not the best call to action in the world, but hey, this is the one we're going to use for this example. And what Bertha will do is craft sort of this conclusion paragraph to our history of the Wurlitzer keyboard and then give us a little bit of a call to action. We could have made this call to action anything we wanted, but this one looks pretty good. There are many brands of electronic keyboards, but the Wurlitzer brand is one of the most popular. Copy that and then paste that uh, into our document or into our blog post. And then we would just do the cleanup process, start editing this stuff up, formulating some of the paragraphs, uh, and just basically working with content that we know nothing about. And you can see here, with just a few minutes of spending time creating what might be the history of Wurlitzer keyboards, it gives us a lot more to work with within our post. And I mentioned before, keywords, content in our in our episode uh, show notes is really going to give us more chances to be found, more chances to help our audience and our reader, uh, more SEO opportunity, et cetera. It's Bertha.ai. Use it in your podcast show notes. Use it for WordPress. Check it out. Uh, you can try it for free on WordPress.org and Bertha.ai is also a paid monthly subscription if you want all the bells and whistles. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want more, 